gap of conflation um, between race and class. So a history of discrimination in the United States has created a wealth gap that continues to exist today between black Americans and white Americans. However, there also is a stereotypical association of race and class, such that um, white participants are more likely to rate um, a picture of a black person as poor and a picture of a white person as rich. And so our project was seeking to explore this relationship beyond a racial binary. Um, and so we investigated whether the conflation of race and class is linear, so such that people are perceived as whiter or they also perceive as richer. Um, and so we created stimuli using a face modular software um, of a black American man, a white American man, and a racially ambiguous man. Um, and these were um, pre-rated to be matched on likability and attractiveness as well as representative of those groups. Um, and we hypothesized that both using implicit measures as well as explicit measures that this would be a linear relationship between the conflation of race and class. Um, and so our participants were undergraduate students, um, and we completed um, the semantic misattribution procedure as well as an explicit measure um, between race and class, and we also measured um, symbolic racism. And so what we found um, was what we expected, so such that it does seem that there is, it is a linear relationship um, between the relation of race and class, such that um, our class stimuli were rated as poor, our racial ambiguous stimuli were rated as richer, and the white stimuli were rated as the richest. Um, and so our results do suggest that there is a linear relationship between race and perceived social groups. Um, and this also has um, lots of implications in the real world for things such as policy support. Um, and we're extending these findings and um, looking at the point of subjective equality between the inflation of race and class and consequences of that as well.